hello, hello, and welcome back to Mr. Gil Plays Viking Rise. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Today, we're going to be talking about Law of the Jungle. I have mentioned before, this is my favorite event. I absolutely love Law of the Jungle. It's like a little mini game within the game itself. Now, this event happens, I don't know, it's like roughly every 10 days or something like that. Um, up until, I guess... Uh, you know, I can't see any more coming, but there are some new stuff coming and that's going to be heaps of fun. But Lord of the Jungle roughly is a three day event that, uh, that before, let's say before Kingdom Mayhem starts, it happens roughly every week. Um, it's three days and every day you get a chance to earn rewards. The daily rewards are completing one round and then completing three rounds of the jungle arena. The cumulative rewards are getting first place once, three times, five times. And then getting 5,000 points, 6,500 points, and 8,000 points. Um, so basically, you just need to make sure that every day for three days you log in and you complete three jungle arenas. That will get you at least your dailies every day, and that should easily add up to getting the cumulative points as well. Then, of course, you can focus on trying to get first place. Now, I sometimes do, sometimes don't. I don't know. It really depends on who you're matched up with. So this is a matchmaking event. So basically, if we press go here, we're going to be matched and we're going to choose our players. Now, I'm just using the, my two strongest heroes. The troops you get in this, everybody gets the same troops, 150,000, I think. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of arena. But everybody gets the same troops. And it might say here in the rules, actually, uh, each troop can deploy one troop which will use the troop type provided by the system. Cannot be changed. Units will not be affected by any of the chief troops that are outside. Um, what will matter is your level of uh, hero and uh, additional details. Tribe skills, tribe tech, tribe titles, personal tech, city skin, city buildings, and item bus will not take event. It will not take effect, uh, but basically, Whatever level your hero is will help, and whatever level equipment they're using will help as well. You can find equipment in the arena, however, your equipment might be better, and then you basically you will be stronger. Um, there are things within the map uh, to pick up, i.e. equipment, runes, which can give us a little limited buff, um, scrolls, which give us kind of uh, like magical powers, um, and we get those by attacking Nifflings, and they also just uh, randomly appear on the map as well. We'll see that in a second. What we're going to do now is we're just going to roll through. Now, each Lore of the Jungle event takes roughly eight to nine minutes. I think the timer is eight minutes. So we're going to go through, and I'll show you some of my strategies and how I do it. I'm not saying I'm the best, but anyway, we'll do it. Once we go, we go like this, a challenge accepted. Fantastic. We hope that everybody is going to join us. Yes, fantastic. We are now transported to the thing. We can see our little self. I can't scroll out on this bloody screen, so it's kind of annoying to be this close in, but that's all right. First things first, we're going to immediately attack this guy. What we want to do here is we're starting, we want to get points. Now, we've got, it's a 10 minute map, sorry, not an eight minute map. Uh, we've got time. There will be one thing that happens twice during this whole entire uh, arena, and that is that they will spawn a special uh, jungle boss. Defeating that jungle boss will give you extra points. Now you can see the points here on the side. We're not too stressed about that. These boots are probably better than those brown boots we've got, so we're going to pick those up as well. We want to look around. Unfortunately, because we're scrolled in so closely, it's a little bit tight on the screen, but we want to make sure nobody's going to attack us. This might be a detriment. I usually play on my phone where you can scroll out. Now each time we're going to pick up all of these little things that we need. This is very useful as well. And these things are going to help us in battles. I love these ruins, so I try and get all of the ruins that I can. Ruins? Ruins? Ruins. Uh, I don't know how to say that word properly. Once you say something out loud, you kind of get confused. Oh, we accidentally stopped attacking that guy, but we did want to attack him. That's fine. Earning points each time. We are getting our butts kicked a little bit, but that's no problem. Because basically what we want to do in these first few minutes, the strategy here is to kind of get as many points as you can and then die. Now, you don't die forever, you will be respawned, but we want to kind of smash out some points and die. We're trying to get to the six minute 30 mark. No, I think it's five minute mark. Somewhere between five and six minutes. Oh, this guy's gonna hurt us. Oh, actually he's been hurt already, so we might win. Yes, okay, so we're gonna hurt this guy, fantastic. So there, we're gonna get loads of points from that. Actually, not that many, he wasn't that strong. That's fine. Is that good for us? No, we won't take that. We will take this guy. But yeah, basically at the five, somewhere five to six minute mark, that guy will kill us. 
We don't want him to kill us because we want to deny him the points. Run. If he kills us, he's getting the points, yeah. Whereas we, if we die against one of the NPC monsters, then we are not... Oh, he caught up. How could he catch up so fast? Then nobody gets the points. You know what I mean? So if we die against him, he's getting the points from killing us. If we die against one of the NPCs, they're gonna, there's no points to gain for anybody. Um, so I'm trying to deny him the points by running away as fast as I can. <laughs> I'd rather die against the monster than die against him. Now he's going to chase me because he's boring. He should have given up because he's basically wasting time where he could be earning points here. Now it depends on your motivation. What do you want out of this? I don't necessarily want to come first. I just want to get some points here. So I don't really mind. And I can play this all day to get the points that I need to earn the rewards. Now he's finally stopped, which is excellent. So we're just going to scroll down here, find a monster, suicide ourselves against the monster, basically. Um, and then be able to move on, like so. Uh, okay, we wasted quite a bit of time doing that, but that's alright. At least we denied him the 100 or so points that he would have got by killing us. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the points you get from killing these NPC, the, the turtles and all that kind of stuff, vary, I think, match to match. I think it's random whether the turtles are the strongest this time or something. I don't know. I've noticed that, you know, we got 40 points for that one, but only 10 for the first one. So pick up that. I like that one. We are looking. The most useful ones on the maps are the things that heal you and the teleport. The teleport is fantastically useful. So I'm just going to get all of this stuff. Now, we've got about a minute before the jungle boss spawns. We will die if we attack the jungle boss spawn with this level of health so we are kind of in the crap in terms of my normal strategy of trying to die once before the jungle boss and then go against the jungle boss with full strength so we really would like to die against something very quickly hopefully these three npcs here will allow us to uh respawn this guy is going well but that's fine. This isn't, that's, to be honest, they're doing okay, but that's not a lot of points for this point in the game. Often, if I was aiming for first place, I'd want to be about 800 points by now. Um, but that's all right. Okay. Uh, whew, it's going to take us a while, and the jungle boss is going to spawn very, very shortly. We might miss him, uh, which will be incredibly frustrating and absolutely reduces the chance of me coming first by default. So we probably shouldn't have run around with that guy for... A minute. That was probably a waste of our time. Jungle boss is going to spawn very soon. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Damn, we're going to miss it. Let's see if we can kill this. This turtle will kill us. Turtle, do your worst, please. Okay, so we've probably missed the jungle boss entirely. Uh, my fault. My fault. Hard to strategize while also playing. Get confused. My head is fuzzled. We'll catch up, we'll catch up. Maybe. <laughs> somebody, I think somebody's killed the jungle boss. You know, sometimes players who you're matched against don't realize the jungle boss gives lots of points, so they might not have killed it. The jungle boss will stay there, so we can go in and we can uh, give it a shot as well. I think somebody has done that because the points seem relatively higher for a couple of those people. This guy is useful. That's a uh, that's basically healing. It, gives, it replaces some of your troops, but I don't think it does give you extra troops uh, that's just a Niplong Defender, but we're going to kill this guy. He might be able to get away. Oh, and then we're going to kill this guy. Oh, he's kind of strong. Oh, and he had like an invisibility thing. Ah! It's fine. He's probably going to run back up to his spawn place and hope that I would have chased him. So that's another good strategy. If you are close to dying, run back to where you're spawned. Obviously, somebody will try to follow you up, and then they might uh, be surprised when you die. You respawn right on top of them and able to kill them. So we have failed miserably on this round. This is probably the lowest points I've ever been at this point. Um, but it's fine. We're showing how the game goes. We've got another 3 minutes 30, which means the jungle boss is going to respawn at about somewhere between the 1 and 2 minute mark, I think it is. It does. I, I, I don't know if it's gener it spawns because of points that are hit, 
like a point mil milestone and that's when it decides to spawn or it spawns just you know at a time that I've not been able to work out but it definitely is slightly different <laughs> each time it's actually kind of hard to play this on the PC as opposed to your phone as I said being so close in is uh, I can't see the rest of the map or what's happening around me I know there's things happening oh come on man little man are you making me chase you do you want me to chase you I think he wants me to chase you yeah okay look we got him he wants me to kill him so he turned around and decided to let me kill him that means he's probably got a spawn that's relatively close what about this blackbeard guy can we give you a tap on the head you, are you running away oh. there's, a, there's a teleport teleport's the best one why don't you pick up teleport blackbeard there we go let's give him one of those so now we can use these scrolls they all do relatively different things i keep forgetting what they do but i just press them all teleport's the only one i really want teleport means i can get out of a uh, a sticky situation when I need to. Uh, let's pick up that rune. So the jungle boss should be respawning. Now, we're not going to be able to catch up by killing the jungle boss, but now we're just thinking about the points we need in order to get our cumulative total for the day. We still, we've only attacked once today. I did earlier this morning. So we do have one more attack after this that we should do, one more match that we should do in order to maximize our points. Let's give this guy a tap as well. He's probably going to kill us. No, he's not doing too bad. Jungle boss is coming. Go, wait. Ah, come on. Over there. Uh, where is he? Jungle boss. That's the jungle boss. If we get this guy, this will give us quite a nice mm, points. Now, the points you get from him again change, and I feel that's a ratio of the total amount of points that people have, the points you need. This guy's attacking me, which is stupid, because if we both attack the defender, we'll both get points for it. So he shouldn't really be wasting time attacking me. Now, what we're going to do here is going to stand here, and disappear i oh, like us so let them fight each other let them fight uh bam attack like so now all we want to do is get points so that gained us quite considerable amount of points we've got one minute left we just want to get as many points as we can obviously we can try and attack other players that will give us better points than this however we're low on health anyway we're just going to die uh, and they'll get the points so my strategy here is always to deny the points to the opposite player um, and gain the points for myself. So I will always, when low on health, start attacking NPCs before anything else so that nobody else gets the points from defeating me. We've got 37 seconds. Maybe we can find another guy hanging out down here. We can give a, give a little tap. No. Yeah, okay, so I doubt we're going to find anybody that we can kill in the time that's left. Those guys are doing quite well, but still not a relatively high um scoring match i've seen a lot higher than this i think my best was something like two and a half thousand to win but we got closer than i thought we'd get midway we're gonna die now and be respawned maybe just one second before the game finishes we are defeated and we will not respawn in time there we go so we got some nice points we killed twice we died three times return of the city fantastic that should give us a little bit of a reward and the cumulative rewards there we go we got to uh, 5,000 absolutely fantastic so I won't do it now but I will go back and do another round there uh, we do have one more day left of this so I do have a chance to try and get first place and I think I will give it a shot might go down the pub later and just have a couple of matches while I'm sitting there having a pint to see if I can get up to the th first place this gives us these things is what I'm doing this for glory medals glory medals can be used in the honey tavern at the glory shop and they are one of the only ways i think you can get the ivana shard now ivana is not necessarily an amazing hero but um very useful and i like every hero so i mean we're gonna get uh if we can get that first place thing we should be able to get, at least get four or five more shards this round of lore of the jungle and that will always help us to upgrade ivana and make sure that we are progressing 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 i hope you enjoyed that lore of the jungle i absolutely adore it i'm looking forward to playing it more Thank you so much for joining. Catch you in the next one. Bye.